Well, I told you guys I was gonna give you more content, so here it is. Uh, it is Monday morning and I have most of my shipments done from the weekend, but I had a couple more that I had to grab. Here comes my kitty to sneak into the shed. You guys have not seen the shed or my house since I've moved, so I figured it what better time than the present. So I'm gonna do that and we're gonna start off by you guys seeing kind of what I'm working with with the shed. Uh, over here, I've got a couple things that I'm still organizing. I don't know, I'm gonna use this for like a testing center or something. Some shoes that I just listed that I'm going to put away. And then um, some stuff that I brought over uh, that I still have to go through. I think a lot of this stuff is getting thrown away or donated because it has uh, like rips or tears or I can't read the size tag or something like that. So obviously most of you guys know this is how I redid my shoe inventory right here. I have them all labeled kind of like with signs like men's size eight. And then you come in here and you just grab the shoe that you need. All right, so the really good sale that just came in was these Kobe Mamba 11 Instincts or something like that. I don't know, I picked these up at a Play-Doh's closet for $60 only because they were in really clean condition. And uh, when I looked up comps, they were listed anywhere from like 150 to 400. So I listed them high for like 375 and I just took an offer on Poshmark literally uh, as I was walking out to the shed for $260, $245. So that's pretty cool. And as you guys can see, I'm still working on a couple things. Clothing is the one thing that I have left in the shed to actually organize. Most of this stuff used to be hung up. If you guys remember my old shed, I had all the clothes hanging right here. So that's something that I still need to get done. But I did, did sell like a puffer vest that I need to grab that should be in here. I think it's in this bin right here. Uh, most of this is empty boxes and trash uh, from stuff from cleaning out the shed. Today and tomorrow are my trash days, and so I gotta get all the stuff, just empty boxes, over to the uh, curb. I still have some random stuff, obviously, some VHS and DVD combo units that I'm gonna go through, some hard goods and electronics, but I'm really narrowing it down here. You can see almost everything fits on three shelves where it used to take up like a whole side and a half of my shed. So that's pretty exciting there. And then I've got a lot of my shipping supplies right here, which when I get low, I just bring what I need into the office and I have some shelving space there. I obviously did add some insulation to the sides too, all the way around, which I don't know if it's actually going to help or not, but I did it anyway. And so we are making progress. I'm not 100% there, but my goal is to have as much done by the end of this week as possible. Now that FlipCon is over, I did sell these Nike shoes. Um, I sent out offers on Poshmark last night and uh, these baby toddler Jordans right here. I think I paid uh, $8 for them at the flea market and they sold for 35 plus shipping. Not a great sale, but not horrible. And now I need to find that puffer jacket, which I think is up here. All this is just like board, men's board shorts and pants and a couple of t-shirts and jerseys, which I just need to organize and put away uh, into the right clothing bins. Uh, but I'll get that done real fast. So let me get this down and see if that vest... Oh, you know what? I think it's right here. Yep, there it is. The REI puffer vest. So uh, I sold that on Poshmark for 30 bucks, And I think I have about 3 or $4 into it. So yeah, this is the shed, guys. And uh, it's not like great, but it's, it's getting there. I'm really exposing myself here and opening myself up to you guys. Uh, I will do a little bit of a house tour, but this is my, sh my, uh, my shed, my office right now. As you can see, it is a little bit dysfunctional, but I'm still getting there. No excuses, really. It's just, you know, it's just what I'm working with at the moment. I um, have got all this set up for like a whatnot auction that I'm going to be auctioning off. So a Disney buyout of some clothing that I just did. Uh, these are the things I just brought in that I'm going to ship. Here's my workstation right now. It's a little messy because I just got back from FlipCon and I'm trying to just get my stuff shipped and packed. This is a bin of stuff that, well, other than this box right here. This is a bin of like shoes and stuff that needs to be cleaned. Over here we got some clothing that's already been listed that I need to put away. Then I've got some cleaning supplies right here. So this is some of the sales that are going out for the weekend. This is my rack of uh, kind of like my, I don't know, my show off rack. I don't know what you want to call it, my Tower of Terror stuff. These are shoes that were just cleaned and listed right before FlipCon that I need to bring into the shed. And so that will get done. And hopefully this will get pretty clean. I've got like a little shelf of just kind of trinkets and things I've bought and collected from other people from like the, the live with Joey uh, from buying stuff. So there's a couple things up there. 
and uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna package these last three things real quick right here, and then we're gonna go. I'm gonna go to the post office, drop this stuff off, and then I guess I'll give you guys a house tour. So I just got back from the post office and I told you guys I would show you my house and a lot of you guys were asking for it since I moved. For those of you guys who don't know, I am renting out my old house to make a, a new stream of income and we bought, uh, we bought a new house. And so this is it right here. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. It's kind of hard to get like accurate angles on camera. Uh, but it's a nice house. It's like a little over 1,700 square feet. And uh, it's just in a, a nice little back area of, a, of a, a street, I guess you could say. There's no neighborhood or anything, no HOAs. So that's nice. And uh, yeah, let me just show you guys inside real quick and give you a little quick tour. My wife had to go pick up uh, one of our friend's sons from school because she babysits other people. And so uh, she's doing that because he had a headache or he wasn't feeling well. So this is the front entrance right here i'll kind of show you guys all the angles but we've got like a little nook right here where we keep our shoes and this is obviously just like a little bench and some pictures of us and then coming over here this is as of right now the boys play area in this like front room right here the windows are huge which is really nice all the lights are off right now so it looks kind of dark but as you come in it gets brighter let me see if i can turn on the light for you There we go, that's a little better. And so this is our living room. My wife has, uh, there's Hezzy. Shout out Hezzy. My little weenie. And uh, there's Gizmo. He's a, he's a little bit of a scaredy cat, but um, this is what we're working with, guys. So there's our, our TV and we have like one of those electric fireplaces. Shout out my wife, she's amazing. She's been cleaning a bunch today. Uh, but this is going to be that front room that you guys see which we're not 100% sure really what we're doing with it, but this is what you see in the front of the house. Right now I've got some clothing bins in here because actually today I'm gonna to be going through all of these bins and seeing if anything is not listed on eBay and then I'm gonna condense everything and uh, I might actually bulk wholesale out all my women's clothing just because I haven't sold a piece of women's clothing in God knows how long, so. Uh, but we upgraded uh, much, much more than what we used to have, which is really nice. And so the light's off, but you can't really see it. But this is our master bedroom. Not really too much to see there. And uh, we're keeping the doors closed because of the cats. This is my son's Asher's and Zeke's room. Right now it's messy, but we have two boys. What do you expect? All clean. Shout out to my wife and Asher and Zeke. They cleaned their room. And so, yeah. And then we have the bathroom. Not really anything fancy here, but I told you guys I'd show you everything, so here we are. Okay, moving on, we are going to go to the other side of the house here, where you can see this is the front room, and then this is our dining room right here. So this is where we eat, put a light fixture up there, and uh, then you walk back here, and this is the laundry room. So we've got a lot of space back here for storage, we've got a deep freezer, we've got a little table, this is where my wife does her crafts with her Cricut and stuff like that. Washer and dryer, obviously. And uh, then yeah, so then you come in over this way and then this is where the kitchen is. And so this is pretty much it. Stainless steel appliances, everything was new when we bought this house, which is really nice. And uh, it's just a little bit of a stress relief. So then we put the office, even though this is technically probably the master bedroom, we put the office over here on this side of the house so that I can work, I can do my lives, all that kind of stuff uh, with with Joey and do my shipping and uh, tape and all that kind of stuff without having to worry about waking up the family on the other side of the house. And I have uh, my own bathroom and stuff in here. It's not organized as well, but uh, as you can see, here is the bathroom and then just a toilet, two sinks, and just a couple of things. Here's the shower. So we're pretty excited to have the move. I got my closet in here with some clothes on a rack and uh, still got a little bit of organizing and cleaning to do. But overall, we are pretty much here. We're moved in. There's just a couple of things left to do. And uh, really, that's it. So I don't know. Maybe I'll show you guys uh, once I do. I'll do like a little time lapse maybe of going through all my clothing in the uh, in the front room and uh, 
see how many items I find that are unlisted because I'm really interested. Sales have not been like amazing for me lately. Uh, now, since FlipCon, I haven't listed as much as I usually do. I'm usually somewhere around 15 to 20 listings a day. And considering that I haven't done a lot of listings lately because of that, uh, I think that my sales have declined. But I'm also running a 30% off sale on my entire store. And I still have not seen an increase uh, in sales by any means of what my store usually produces. And so Poshmark's doing really well for me. I'm making sales here and there on Depop and then whatnot is awesome and so uh, I won't get too much into that but that is the shed that is the tour and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing that side of my business and now I am coming into my room right now that currently has all the clothing which I'm hoping to slowly narrow down and then put in the shed as well uh, but right now it's just in here and so I'm gonna go through every piece of clothing and I've got two phones with my two stores on it and I'm going to um, see how many items are not listed that are in here. So it's gonna take me a while, probably a couple hours at least to go through everything, but I'll let you know how far I get and how many items I find that were not listed. So a little update, I'm only on my second bin here and I've already found an item that's not listed on eBay. It's this BKE buckle like corduroy button-up jacket or whatever. And I know that I've listed it because I have the listing on Poshmark. When I go to Poshmark and you search buckle, look, it's right there. Which is absolutely crazy and it's still showing listed. So that is crazy that it's not on eBay anymore. So I gotta freaking find out how much of this stuff is not listed. Wish me luck. Hey guys, I just finished going through three bins of men's pants and shorts and I found, I think, like close to 12 or 15 items of unlisted inventory, Levi's, some vintage golf shorts, some more Levi's, some polo chinos. Uh, this is a pair of like windbreaker pants, polo sport, polo Ralph Lauren sweatpants, some Levi's 501s. I really don't know what's going on with my inventory, but at this point it's kind of stressing me out because I know that I wouldn't have put all of this stuff away and it get unlisted. I'm checking literally both eBay stores at the same time, like I'm going through both of my eBay stores and typing it in to make sure it's not on both stores or one store or either store and I'm just not having much luck there so it's getting a little frustrating because I really shouldn't have this much unlisted stuff at this point. I should only, I was only expecting maybe a couple things. I'm glad I'm doing it but it's really stressful because some of this stuff is listed on Poshmark and it's not on eBay and some of it I haven't done the Poshmark side yet. Uh, I'm just checking eBay first so hopefully most of this stuff is still listed on Poshmark. Uh, but yeah, I really don't know what to say other than if you have a lot of inventory that you have listed but you haven't gone through it in a while, this might be your time to actually go through it and do it because as you can see, I am not having much luck here uh, finding that my items are listed. Well, I mean, I am, but this is a lot of, a whole bin like this of unlisted inventory is a lot. Here we are, and almost everything has been gone through. I found quite a few sweaters and jackets that were not listed, and as you guys saw, the pants, and there's some other jackets down there from when I first started. Got a lot of inventory to start with and work from here. I'm going to get all these photographed and listed, then I'll do the shirts, and then I'm going to go through all my shoes, which is the thing that I'm probably the most nervous about because I have more shoes than I do clothing and so hopefully most of my shoes are at least listed and uh, then we'll go from there. I've actually already transferred all of my shoe listings from my old eBay store to the new one using Flip. Dealing with Dalton helped me with that. Don't ask how I did it because he helped me and I was able to do it on his computer because he's got two monitors uh, but it took me a couple weeks to get everything transferred uh, or well, yeah about a week and I just created listings every day with uh, uh, transfers. But anyway, I'll do the same thing with the uh, clothing uh, and hopefully most of the shoes, it'll go faster because it's only on one store. Okay guys, so it is the next day and I'm here in my office. I've been listing all night last night and mostly today, plus taking pictures, but I found over 50 items total of clothing so far that I had in my inventory that was not listed. And so some of it was on Poshmark, but some of it was not. And I really don't know, maybe it's a lack of organization, maybe a pile I made that I thought I had photographed and listed 
and I moved it or stuff I know that was listed at one time and is not listed anymore. So there's a combination of a little bit of everything, but it's definitely good to go through your inventory from time to time and make sure that your inventory is listed and active. And so with that being said, I just want to encourage you guys that it was definitely beneficial for me, even at an average of $20 an item per listing, which some were much higher. Most of them were average $19.99. I didn't really have much lower than that, but uh, on the higher end to like $39.99, even at a $20 average, 50 items is $1,000 worth of unlisted inventory that I can resell. And so I'm definitely gonna be doing the same thing with my shoes and, uh, I'm going to be doing a whatnot sale tonight, so I'll put at the end of this video how that went. I have about 40 pieces going up that I have very low cost into to make some extra money, mainly vintage clothing. That's what I really enjoy selling on whatnot. So hopefully that goes well tonight and I will keep you guys posted about that. But other than that, that's it for this video. So I will see you after my whatnot stream. All right, guys, so it is about 10 o'clock at night. I finished my whatnot stream about an hour ago, and I just wanted to update you guys on how it works for those of you guys who are not familiar with whatnot as a seller. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly how much money I made and everything like that. And so as you can see, I'm going to turn this around. I made 35 sales, but before you see the number, two of the items were mystery boxes that I sold. Uh, to Harry Tornado actually he had posted that he was looking for some higher-end stuff to use his whatnot credit for and so outside of my actual whatnot stream I reached out to him and made him a really big box of vintage clothing that was higher end that I've had listed but it's not selling and I think Josh with his bigger following can uh, pull some higher prices on it so you have to minus out about fifteen hundred dollars of the original uh, of the original uh, sale right here but I'm just gonna show you Real quick, I sold 35 items for $2,566 and I did three giveaways, so I lost $13 on the shipping for that. But two of those items were um, bundles that I sold to Josh and so if you minus out that money, you're looking at like right around $900 or so and uh, in sales on the whatnot for 33 items. And that brings my average sale to still about $30 an item uh, which isn't horrible for the kind of stuff I ran, and I'll show you guys here if you want to see it. I know this might be a little bit of a longer video. I probably could make this into a second video, honestly, but uh, anyway, you can see right here, like this, I sold this vintage Kyle Petty NASCAR crew neck shirt for $18. Someone got three three items, a dollar, $10, and $10. A uh, $16 bundle, $185 shirt, a $35 shirt, a $3 shirt, an $8 shirt, $15, $9, $13, uh, $13, $23, $11, $23, $40, $27, $11, $39, $11, $4, $13, $10, $78, $15, $50, $10, $14. So honestly, not too bad. A lot of that stuff I didn't have a ton of money invested into, so it's not really like my cost of goods was very high. I'd say on average, I had like a $5, $4 to $5 cost of goods for those things. A couple of them were from bulk buys and things like that. But um, this was the most expensive shirt that I sold. It's a 1994 The Crow shirt, and uh, it has like the little sleeve hit right here. This is the one I sold for $185. I gave away a steal of a deal on this Stone Cold Steve Austin shirt right here. And I sold that for uh, $50, which is a great price, but it had some like bleach marks on it. So I gave someone a really good deal on it. I gave away a Disney shirt. Someone got a Phillies 1993 shirt, a uh, distressed like NASCAR racing shirt, a polo sport flannel. This Batman shirt sold for like $35. Not great, but uh, vintage Pittsburgh Penguins shirt, this Million Man March. It's like a newer print from 2015 sold for like 15 bucks this all over print got prayer shirt sold for i think 40 or 50 dollars actually my mom bought that from me on whatnot so shout out to my mom but then like this skate tee right here this is really like nothing special but it sold for a dollar so like someone got a really good deal on that this vintage champion crew neck and uh, i'll just show you one more we got this harley shirt right here this pearl harbor harley shirt so all sorts of variety of stuff but what i have found is that when I'm selling on whatnot, when I do themed auctions, meaning like I sell only Disney in a live, I tend to get higher prices and I tend to get more people in the live stream than when I just do a rack of random vintage. Uh, and it's just really hard to get that audience in because you have some wrestling, you have some NASCAR, you have some comic book, you have some, 
you know, just here and there, Disney, things like that. And sometimes it just doesn't pay. And so what I think I'm going to do is, as far as my whatnot streams are concerned, I'm going to try to keep them a little bit more um, themed. And so we'll see how that works out for me in the future. But overall, whatnot has been great to me. My streams have been really successful. I usually average anywhere from like $200 to $2,000, depending on how well I prepare and plan for it. And if you guys have any questions about whatnot, let me know in the comment section down below. I think it's a great platform to sell on. I'm moving inventory. I had this listed on eBay for $250 and I had seven watchers on it and I had multiple offers, but 185 was the highest offer I had had and that was on whatnot. And so you just never know. Sometimes you have the right buyers in your streams and sometimes you don't. Tonight was a pretty big variety of hit and miss. A couple tees sold a lot lower than I was expecting, but some made up for it and sold higher. I got to get to shipping. Uh, I'll show you that real quick, just so you can see. Um, and all I have to do right here is it'll show me like who bought what. So, you know, like this liquid blue Grateful Dead shirt sold for $11. It was a modern reprint. All I have to do up here is go to create label. And uh, I already put in the weight of this stuff. Like this shirt is like 11 ounces. It's actually a little less than that. It says, please enable pop-ups. I don't know why it wasn't already enabled, but you just go to print label and then it'll show you the name of the person, how much they paid. And then I just go to print right here and I just do uh, even pages. That goes to page number two. And this is Nathalie, who's a big supporter of the YouTube channel. And so I won't put her address on there or anything like that. But Nathalie, thank you so much for your purchase. It's being shipped out right now. So again, thank you guys. I love you. And hopefully you'll be seeing more content from me in the future like this. And uh, I'm going to get out of here, get to work, get all these packaged and shipped out tonight because that's how I like to run my business. See ya. Peace money.